Hello, my name is Jacob Lanto. I'm a student at the University of New Mexico studying electrical engineering. I've developed a passion for remote operated vehicles and this is the most recent one I'm working on which is a project a bit beyond me. So I'm sharing this project with you, the community, whether you're engineering or just have an interest in these type of things. Why underwater exploration? It said we know more about our solar system than we do our own ocean. By using these underwater vehicles, we can go farther, deeper, and longer than ever before. And all of this is really for the sensors. And the submarine is a delivery system. These sensors can confirm and deny environmental concerns. It will help us increase our overall knowledge about what's below our waves. There are many types of ROVs, these remote control vehicles. All of what I'm doing here is open source, however, I do reference other people's work, so be careful of that. I can communicate to it on the surface using radio. However, radio waves don't travel very well in water, so I'll use an acoustics modem. We'll get deeper into this in the next videos. One of the very unique features I am designing in this vehicle with these ballast tanks is to have negative buoyancy. Many people consider negative buoyancy absurd because that means if systems fail you'll sink versus float to the top. But I want this vehicle to have the ability to go down to a thousand feet for long periods of time, ultimately turning off all of these power expensive systems that only run the sensors. There's several sensors on here. One is sighted imaging sonar to map the bottom of lakes with accuracy. There are many sensors on here. I won't get into them all right now. And there are others that can be added on as needed. How is this going to be done and how can you participate? I have a blog, Google Drive, and now this YouTube channel, which will supplement the projects to help your understanding. And you can reference the work done on the blog you can get copies of the work using Google Drive and then you can see the work in progress using these videos and they'll also be posted in Word on the blog. It is difficult to make this affordable of course because this vehicle is operating at 35 bar. Input is encouraged. There will be more videos on this later. How can you participate? You can leave comments in this video on my blog or even on my Google Drive. And if you do want to participate in the project or help out in other ways, contact me. Have a good day.